Well, it's I'm, I, I, I often try to go back and see what kind of fascination I had as a child. And this, this was, some of these musicals were, you know, the Fred Astaire, the Gene Kelly, whatever, was on television when I was a child, and this was always very appealing. So I thought maybe I could recreate some of that, or oh, start from the fascination I had way back then. I don't know if musical is melodrama. Of course, it is. It's the family <laughs> of melodrama in a sense. But musicals, or the ones I saw when I was a child, was never really dangerous. They were never really. You didn't cry. Oh, that's very unusual. It's actually more. Uh, musical is is uh, an. The same thing as an operetto in, in you know, in, in Danish operette, that is a theatre thing, and that has always been characterized by being very light. And, and, and these musicals that I started to see were very light. And then, of course, came a fantastic musical, West Side Story, that was not so light, that was kind of more like melodrama thing, or dramatic story. But no, no melodrama. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it. It's. Uh, I think that the. The essential feeling, that they, you know, bring to me when I think about it is this lightness. Which, and that's why you can also compare them with the music videos today because that's kind of lightness is is what they bring because it is it is, a form that doesn't demand, very much of you almost nothing. Um, and it's a pleasure just to 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 see it and uh, yeah, no light. Light is a good word. Okay, and by comparison, is dancer in the dark heavy? Um, I, 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 what I I I have tried, or my idea was. I don't know if I have tried or if I have succeeded, but my idea was to put in more melodrama in the sense that, you know, the difference between an opera and an operetto, is it called an operetto mm -hmm. in English? Yeah. Um, is that, 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 you know, the heavy stuff is in the opera and the melodrama is in the opera, whereas the other thing is much lighter. So, so, so I've, and, and, and then again, you could say also West Side Story is more of an opera story than, than you know, singing in the rain where they just, what can they lose a career? That she loses a career. <laughs> Debbie Reynolds almost <laughs> loses a career. Oh no, she gets a career. I don't know. Blah blah. You know, it's kind of smaller things normally that happens in a in a in a musical. So so I've tried to to to, to kind of. Or I would like to have achieved that you take it seriously in the same way as you do with an opera. And I I I I was told I haven't been there myself, but I was told that, you know, still today, maybe some, but some years ago, people really cried at operas, right? You know, when the Lady of Camille, you know, or whatever she's called, kind of, you know, then, then you cry. It's really <laughs> but you've the heavy been stuff. To one? You've never been oh, to yes. One? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But I haven't oh. cried. Oh. I haven't cried. The, the, the problem, of course, or, yeah, the problem when when the music suddenly, you know, pours down from the sky, then you have a tendency to do like, you know, in the Muppet shows where they kind of, you know, <laughs> looked up to see where all the violins are located. Um, and that, of course, takes some of the pain and the danger away from, from the whole thing. So, so the idea was to maybe, uh, to maybe come, come back to, what you would say, a more serious film. And, and, and I must say that the, the little trick that I have used for these music numbers in this film, I'm not very proud of this idea that she, she has these fantasies or she has this ability to uh, hear music in, in every day, you know. 
uh, sounds from everyday life. Well, it's I like the idea, but I'm not I'm not very proud of the fact that we that we haven't dared to go all the way and make made a cleaner musical in that sense. You know, where 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 they where they start to sing for no reason. Uh, but that might be next time. The this technique that I have used before, you know, with the handle camera, and and especially with video, so you have, you know, all the time you need, uh, is getting away from you know the storyboards that we used to do, but also the music, the, the way we have produced these mu music scenes, we have tried to uh, to what should we say uh, keep this random effect or life or whatever by putting up a lot of fixed cameras instead of you know staging a scene for a camera and we put up a lot of cameras not enough <laughs> I would, <laughs> we should have used some more <laughs> but uh, it was uh, it's it's um, it's, uh, it's so enable so so you it should enable you not to control the scene right so you just put up a lot of cameras and then you get some gifts or early on in my career if i'd made a musical i would have made it a very traditional way with a lot of tracking shots and cranking shots that's it's logical that's how you do it that's what makes you know image and music work together it's uh, it's a pleasure, but this, uh, but now you know I have a tendency to put down rules for myself. <laughs> so I thought, no, let's go in the opposite direction and do only fixed cameras. So this is all fixed cameras, these, and and remote controlled. No, no, it's they're only fixed. And then we we get what we, if somebody moves in front of the camera, then we <laughs> get something. Well, the start of the music of. Because the style of the music is something that has come as a collision between her and me. And uh, she's the one that knows about music, of course. And I know a little about <laughs> the music as I saw back then. And, and uh, the film is about a woman who likes the same musicals as I did back then. And and of course, it was important for me that there were some themes or whatever, some feelings from these musicals that then kind of also collided with another, with a documentary style, with a character, whatever, and 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 also with some more, some what you would say, Bjork style music, and that was kind of the collision I talked about between the. That was that was uh, the idea all the time. So it never you never had in your head that it was going to be sort of lyrical Leonard Bernstein type. type uh, no, the, the biggest problem about making a musical is, of course, what music should you put in it? And I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. So that is where Björk came in, very handy, I must say. And I've, I, I like the music that she has done very much. Um, some of it I had to learn to like, but I like it very much, and and uh, um, it's a big part of the film. It's not a big part of the story since the story was was you know written before she came in, but uh, I couldn't have asked for any you know better performer and in in any way and no, she she has a it's an incredible performance, incredible. And it's not acted, I must say that. It's not acted, it's f felt. And I think that Björk's always, she always talks about not a divine power, but a mystical power, right? And if there was any kind of mystical power behind this, then it was the fact that the two of us came together in this, on this project. That was kind of mystical in the sense that I think, well, you can discuss the result, but, but, but 
there's so many things that make sense uh, when you see Björk saying the lines that I had written without knowing her, which is, I think, beautiful.